weekend, it's all about comedies at the box office. Our movie critic Matt Achity from RottenTomatoes.com is here to give us his grades on this weekend's funny news releases, new releases rather, the five-year engagement and the Pirates Band of Misfits. Matt joins me now from Los Angeles. Hi, Matt. Hi, how are you doing? Doing well. So let's go ahead and start with the Pirates Band of Misfits. Tell me, what is this movie about? Uh, so this movie is about a group of relatively incompetent pirates led by a pirate captain named Pirate Captain who is vying for the prestigious Pirate of the Year award. And it's, is it hilarious? It's a, uh, it is pretty funny, actually. It's uh, a claymation film from Ardman Animation who are the makers of the Wallace and Gromit shorts and uh, last year's great... Uh, uh, Arthur Christmas, which was really a fantastic film. This is a pretty fun movie. Uh, it's pretty goofy, it's pretty silly, but it's a lot of fun. You've got a great okay. voice cast from Hugh Grant here. All right, well, let's go ahead, let's watch a short clip of it, and then, and then we'll talk on the other side. Queen Victoria welcomes you to London. Oh, well, that's nice. <gasps> we don't look so worried, number two. Pirates are always visiting London. All right, so what's your grade on this? Uh, my grade is pretty high. I give it a B. I thought it was a really solid film. I think the kids are really going to enjoy this. Uh, there's a lot of laughs here for the whole family. Uh, you know, definitely some silliness here. It's not nearly as dramatic or scary as Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's something that the kids and the whole family will really enjoy. Well, the parents, so the parents won't fall asleep in the theater. No, actually, they'll like it too. There, there's plenty of good gags the whole way through. Okay, sounds good. So our next movie is Five Year Engagement. Let, let's let's go to a clip first. Okay. I mean, seeing as everyone's going to be wearing yarmulkes. Well, actually, only the men will be wearing yarmulkes. So, so. Well, I've never heard you say the word yarmulke till today. I, excuse me, I say yarmulke all the time. You don't. You like, hey, where's my yarmulke, babe? Babe, have you, you seen my yarmulke? You don't have a yarmulke. I have a hold. It's in my you... Jewish drawer. All right. So, what is this one about? So, this movie starts out with uh, Emily Blunt and Jason oh. Stegall getting engaged, and then it takes them forever to actually walk down the aisle and get married. One thing leads to another in their lives. She gets uh, accepted to grad school in Michigan, which is a problem because they both live in the Bay Area, so now they have to uproot their lives and move to Michigan, uh, where she's going to grad school, and so they delay their wedding, and when she keeps going farther and farther in school, it makes the wedding get pushed back farther and farther, leading to tension in their relationship. Uh, so this ultimately is a pretty funny movie. I did enjoy it, although it runs really long. It's uh, almost two hours, uh, uh, which is really long for a romantic comedy, unfortunately. Uh, there's a great supporting cast here, uh, not the least of which is Alison Brie from Community. Uh, good chemistry between the leads, but it's not nearly as funny as, unfortunately, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which was co-written by Jason Siegel and the director here, uh, Nick Stoller. But ultimately, it's it's an all right film. What's your grade? Uh, not a bad choice. I give it a C. I, th I think it's a solid film. Uh, I don't think it's brilliant. I think we've seen better romantic comedies from both these actors. But a solid C, not a wasted effort. All right, Matt Achity, thanks so much for your time. Sounds great. Thank right, you. Rem remember, you can check out all of Matt's grades and reviews by going to RottenTomatoes.com.